Hello friends, the topic of this video is anterior triangle of neck. In this video, we will learn about the boundaries of anterior triangle, subdivisions of anterior triangle and their boundaries, boundaries and contents of submental triangle and boundaries and contents of muscular triangle. The two other triangles that is carotid triangle and the diagastric or submandibular triangle. I will make separate videos for them. They are very important. So let us see where exactly is anterior triangle located. Anterior triangle is located in on the side of the neck. The side of the neck is divided into two triangles by a muscle that is sternocleidomestoid. So anterior triangle will be uh, located anterior to sternocleidomestoid. Its apex is directed downwards and base is directed upwards. Whereas in case of posterior triangle, it's the it's vice versa. That is, this is the posterior triangle. Its apex is directed upwards and the base is directed downwards. Now let us look at the boundaries of anterior triangle. Anterior boundary will be formed by the median line or midline of the neck, which extends from symphysis menti here till the suprasternal notch just above the menubrium sterni between the two clavicles. Posterior boundary will be formed by anterior border of sternocleidomestoid muscle. Its base or the superior boundary will be formed by the base of the mandible or the inferior border of the mandible and by an imaginary line which connects angle of mandible to the mestoid process. The apex which is directed downwards is located at the suprasternal notch. Anterior triangle which is in green in color here that is divided into three and a half triangles. So you can see one, two, three and this is half because this is in the median region. So only half of it is present on either side. And which muscles will divide it, uh, the anterior triangle into these three and a half triangles? The muscles which have got two bellies. In neck, we have two such muscles which have got two bellies and these are the digastric muscle and omohyoid muscle. So here we can see this is the digastric muscle with its anterior belly and posterior belly. And this is the omohyoid muscle. This is the superior belly of omohyoid which will be uh, actually dividing the anterior triangle into different subdivisions and this is the inferior belly of the omohyoid which subdivides posterior triangle of the neck into a larger occipital the upper triangle and a smaller subclavian triangle so let us look at the subdivisions of the anterior triangle so first one will be the muscular triangle which we can see as the name suggests here the infrahyoid muscles they will be mainly located here that's why the name is muscular triangle. So here we can see this is the anterior median line and posterior superiorly we have the superior belly of homohyoid and posterior inferiorly we have the anterior border of sternocleidomestoid. Then this is carotid triangle. Why it is known as carotid triangle? Because this will have common carotid artery, internal carotid artery, external carotid artery. So that's why the name is carotid triangle because of location of carotid arteries here. So here we can see uh, if we look at this, the posterior boundary of this is formed by the anterior border of sternocleidomestoid whereas antero superiorly it is formed by posterior belly of digastric and antero inferiorly it is formed by the superior belly of omohyoid then we have the di sorry the submental triangle so submental triangle only half of it is present here so you can see anterior belly of digastric on the side hyoid bone below and here at the apex is the symphysis menti then the last one is this digastric triangle. So as the name suggests, two sides are formed by the digastric muscle. So here you can see anterior belly, posterior belly and the uh, superior boundary of this triangle will be formed by base of mandible and you cannot visualize it here but the line extending from angle of mandible till the mestoid process. So these are the three and a half or you sometimes people also say four triangles or four subdivisions of anterior triangle. 
this is anterior view of these triangle so this is the muscular triangle of one side this is carotid triangle you can also see the carotid arteries here and this is the diagastric triangle and we can see here this is the submental triangle so you can see here actually it occupies the median uh, region and half of it is present on either side now let us look at the submental triangle so if we look at the submental triangle you can see here this is the submental triangle this is the chin here you can see the hyoid bone there so let us see here it is a median triangle therefore it occupies the upper part of both the anterior triangles it lies below the chin and above the hyoid bone now let us look at the boundaries of this on the sides on each side this green colored muscle this is the anterior belly of diagastric so on either side we have anterior bellies of diagastric and then the base of the triangle is formed by hyoid bone and what do we have at the apex at the apex we have symphysis menti now floor of this triangle is formed by this muscle which is also extending here into the diagastric triangle so this uh, floor is formed by mylohyoid muscles and you can see here they are insertion on the fibrous raphe and on to the hyoid bone then roof of this triangle that will be formed by investing layer of deep cervical fascia superficial to that will be superficial fascia and still and within that we will have platysma muscle and still superficial to that will be skin so what are the contents of submental triangle you can see here a group of lymph nodes this is known as submental lymph nodes so which structures are drained by this the submental group of lymph nodes that will drain tip of tongue if you put your two fingers of your right hand on the tongue and connected to the chin then all those structures which will be coming in between they will be drained by the submental lymph nodes so tip of tongue then floor of mouth then lower jaw where the incisors are there and the middle part of the lower lip and the chin so this is in the midline right starting from the tongue a floor of mouth jaw then comes with incisors middle part of lower lip and chin these are drained by submental group of lymph nodes what else we have we have the beginning of these veins here which are known as anterior jugular veins and they are tributaries of external jugular vein that means they will drain into external jugular vein now before looking at the boundaries of the muscular triangle let us consider infrahyoid muscles there are in total four infrahyoid muscles so let us look at them the first one is sternohyoid as the name suggests it will be taking origin from the sternum the posterior aspect of the manubrium sterni and will be inserted onto the body of the hyoid bone which you can see here and then when we remove this muscle when we cut this muscle you find two muscles which are present deep to that now consider this one this one runs the whole length right starting from the sternum till the hyoid bone and then we have kind of a relay race right so first muscle will end somewhere and then the second muscle will begin from there and then end at the hyoid bone so the first muscle is sternothyroid going from the sternum manubrium sterni till the thyroid cartilage we have an oblique line here this is the thyroid cartilage so till oblique line of the thyroid cartilage and the second one will begin from the oblique line of thyroid cartilage and then go till the hyoid bone so this muscle will be known as thyrohyoid so the three muscles you can see here they are sternothyroid and then deep to that we have sternothyroid thyrohyoid and the fourth one we have already seen the infrahyoid muscle is the superior belly of omohyoid and inferior belly of omohyoid that is the omohyoid muscle so you can see here these muscles are known as infrahyoid because they are present below the hyoid bone now let us look at the boundaries of muscular triangle so here we can see this yellow colored area this is the muscular triangle let us see the boundaries now so in the midline will be the midline uh, sorry anteriorly will be the midline of the neck which you can see here then we have two posterior boundaries postero superior and postero inferior so postero superiorly we will have superior belly of omohyoid and 
posterior inferiorly we will have anterior border of sternocleidomastoid so you just remember this that the two triangles right which are present here at the below the level of the hyoid bone in fact you can see there these are muscular and the carotid so their posterior boundaries you will have sternocleidomastoid muscle and these two triangles are separated by which muscle omohyoid so one of the boundaries will be formed by omohyoid that way you can remember so i hope this is clear again i'll repeat the boundaries of this muscular triangle try to locate it in your own neck so this triangle you can see the anterior boundary is by the midline of the neck then posterior superior by superior belly of omohyoid and posterior inferior by anterior border of sternocleidomastoid let us look at the muscles forming floor so we have already seen the infrared muscles they will be forming floor so here on this side we can see this is sternohyoid and when we cut that then we see two of these two of these muscles sternothyroid and the third will be thyrohyoid obviously omohyoid is forming the boundary of this so that will not be forming the floor so floor will be formed by the three infrahyoid muscles excluding the omohyoid so that will be present there there is no significant content present in the triangle some of the books i'll actually mention these muscles as the content of the triangle right but that is not right they are forming the floor of this triangle and beneath the floor of this triangle in fact very important structures they lie such as you will find here trachea is there then still behind that esophagus is there and thyroid gland will be also located here right so those structures are present there so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel so that i can put more such videos and if you want uh, the questions and answers in anatomy all types of that then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com thanks once again